Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today we are going to do the steering wheel rollout event from the Euro Truck Simulator side. Looking around here, and surprisingly I, I logged into American Truck Simulator because I thought I would try it from there, but I didn't see any Thrustmaster delivery, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. However, we do have a nice one here, about 10 hours or so from Toulouse. Because of the 1.42 update, we get tossed back into our main base here in Toulouse. And so we'll just take these up through to turn, about 11 hours, 768 kilometers. Should be good for about 20 something thousand euros. So this, now one of the things I noticed is that I was curious to see whether you could do like some deliveries in the event in American Truck Simulator and then some in Euro Truck Simulator. And it does seem to work that way because when I logged in here, it was already showing that one delivery was completed in Euro Truck Simulator because we had done one in American Truck Simulator. So that's good to know. So let's get started. It looks like this pickup is only one minute away. It must be like right next to our base here, which is helpful. It must be right next door somewhere. Not quite sure where, but we'll go uh, get the trailer here and then we'll see you once we get there. All righty, here are our Thrustmasters off on the left-hand side. We'll back up here. Gosh, this is such tight steering. Every time I switch between games, I'm just amazed at how tight the steering radius is on the European trucks. Yeah, so quick. All right, so let's take a look here. Our Thrustmasters are hooked up. Love this trailer, it looks cool. Purple and brown kind of clash a little bit, but well, we'll just deal with it and off we go. Let's get these rolling. Now we've got about 88,000 euros. Again, I'm wondering in the course of this 10 hour drive, if perhaps we could even hire another driver. I think if I remember right, in our last episode, we bought a, we hired a driver, a truck, bought a truck, and I think we have spot for one more. But maybe we just want to save up for a base or something. That might be another garage. That might be something. Uh-oh, we're tired. We're going to have to go back and sleep. Okay, there's our. we can sleep right back at our Toulouse base here. That car's not going to stop, is it? I didn't think so. All right, so we'll go get some sleep here. It's 1 o'clock in the morning, and apparently we are tired. And then we'll continue on from there. So see you in a moment. All righty. So we slept in our truck in our garage. I'm sure that's the, the best night's sleep, but it all worked out. I'm going to pull out of here. Got our Thrustmasters hooked up. And now it's 10 o'clock in the morning, so we have some daytime driving, which is going to be a much more enjoyable ride, I think. So let's get out on the highway. We've got, again, about 11 hours of driving to get us into Italy. It's been a long time since we've been in Italy. So we will get going here. Thrustmasters are hooked up. We've got plenty of sleep and I think plenty of fuel. Get this going here. See you as we get out on the road. All righty, we got it in cruise control. We're on the highways heading east through France to towards Italy. Looks like we got about 10 and a half hours left. So a nice easy exit out of Toulouse and we are on our way. Now there's nothing else that this will be working on except that achievement for the, for the um, delivery event. But it is cool to see that you can do five total deliveries through either game. So we've got one now in American Truck Simulator and one in Euro Truck Simulator 2. By the way, just to kind of reiterate some of the craziness, while we were sleeping eight hours, we made about 50, over 50,000 euros. That's how fast the money's coming in in the game now. <laughs> it's really quick. But yet, yet there are still a lot of achievements. I mean, if have you looked over the achievements for some of like the company ones, there's still a long way to go. It's like have a, have a, what is it? One is have a base and have a garage in every city in Sicily, I think that's one. But there's one I think have a base in every, have a garage in every city in the game. I mean, that's insane. But I mean, I suppose at a certain point, you're just gonna make so much money because there's no limit to it, right? You can have, I don't know, is there a limit to the number of drivers you can have? I wonder, but I would think at a certain point you're just, the money just comes in so fast. And as of right now, I mean, to make 50,000 sleeping, that's pretty cool. So I think we will have enough money to get another truck at the end of this event here, at the end of this delivery. And I am glad to see, I'm pretty sure it looks like that you can do a total sum of five deliveries over both games. So I think that when we get done with this Euro Truck Simulator 2 delivery, it's gonna register us having our second Thrustmaster delivery out of the five that we need. Short event, I mean, five deliveries is pretty easy, but so I logged into American Truck Simulator and none of the cities I could see 
had Thrustmasters in them. And I'm wondering, I saw a few people posting online saying that they couldn't find deliveries of Thrustmasters either. So I, what I assumed was not every city has them, but it sounds like there's a bug where you just can't find them, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, but I logged into Euro Truck Simulator and there were plenty of deliveries to pick up and to lose. And so this will give us two, but hopefully there's not a bug. I wouldn't think there was. I would think it just have to have been that I checked three cities, two cities in American Truck Simulator. Neither of those two big cities had them. I would assume they had, but maybe I just got unlucky. So I don't know. But I did see checking it out. I did see people posting online saying that no matter where they went, they couldn't find the Thrustmaster cargo. But I have a sense they might have been doing it wrong. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. But anyway, nice day here. Uh, we about 11.30 in the morning, and we're just chugging along through eastern France. So pretty relaxing going here. Nothing really monumental. So we'll uh, let's touch base a little bit as we uh, go further down the road. So we've got about uh, six and a half hours left. We have just passed through another French toll booth. This car is going to ram into me on the right side in the mirror there, but I averted him. <laughs> That's another place in the game, right? So the rotaries are always interesting. Uh, and then merging after these toll booths. I remember sometimes the cars think they have the right of the way and they can kind of slam right into your side there. But so I changed lanes quickly and avoided that one, which was good. Now we've got uh, about four hours under our belt. It's all been this kind of driving. Uh, Divided highway, 90 kilometers an hour, just chugging along. I don't think these uh, Thrustmasters are very heavy, so it's been pretty easy to make our way across France here. And we've never been on this road before. I would think that I've seen most of the places in France, but the road is lighting up, so I have never driven this route, which is interesting. I would have thought I had driven it a number of times. But uh, one of the things I, I found out, and thanks to people that posted this in the comments on the American Truck Simulator, episode that talked about the Thrustmaster events and the, the, the recent update to 1.42. Someone cleverly pointed out that the 1.42 update, a couple people pointed this out, uh, had the, the adjustments and refinements to the uh, force feedback settings in the game. Of course, that makes sense with the, the Thrustmaster wheel coming out. Maybe they're tweaking all that and improving it. So I think that explains the mushiness that I was feeling in the wheel and the fact that the force feedback had been turned on back to its default setting. So I noticed it was the same here in Euro Truck Simulator. I went in, and I don't like the force feedback with this wheel anyway. It's just, it's just not very good. Uh, the, I don't think the force feed, uh, the wheel and the for, the wheel is really old. And that's why I don't think it's very good. It's not that I think the force feedback system is, is not good. It's just, it doesn't really, the wheel shakes and it picks up all the vibrations in the, the mic and stuff like that. Maybe I could screw around with the settings. I really haven't tried it though, but it just seems like it's, um, it doesn't really work well because this wheel is so old. So uh, with that in mind, however, I went in and I adjusted the mouse sense, the wheel sensitivity, the steering sensitivity on this wheel in Euro Truck Simulator 2, and it's much better. It feels more like what it was before. And I think that's what the problem was, that the sensitivity was too low in American Truck Simulator. So when I was turning, I wasn't really getting the responsiveness that I was used to. So um, I adjusted the sensitivity on the wheel here and everything feels as if it were before the recent update. So I'm happy with that. The wheel is no longer a problem. So problem solved. Another French toll booth, of course, because they make them every few miles. Can I make it through here? Yes, got it. All right, so we'll uh, check in a little bit. I've been thinking about something. This event has got me thinking. So I'll be back in a bit. About 60% done. We got four hours left on the journey. And one of the things I wanted to talk about, I'm curious what people think about this, because this, this short event has got me thinking. And where it came from is, about three years ago, I was playing uh, FIFA, the soccer football game, uh, quite a bit, because my son was playing it. And uh, so I just got really hooked on it and played for probably two or three months. And one of the things that, kind of the online game, playing against other people and stuff like that, and one of the things that I thought was really neat about it, to a degree, I'm. There's things I don't like about it. And eventually after about two or three months, I kind of saw like, okay, I see what you're doing here. And I stopped playing. But one of the real neat yeah, things I thought right. about it was that they had, whoa, the car was coming this way. They had a lot of stuff going on pretty much every week or so. Like you would log in on like a Monday or whatever when the start of the week was. And they would have these kind of weekly objectives. Like it was, um, you know, uh, win certain, such and such a match or play these types of players and things like that or win certain games and things like that. And so there's basically kind of these really short weekly, almost like contract things. I was thinking that would be really neat because this, this short Thrustmaster event got me thinking in Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator. How cool would it be if like you could log in on like a Monday 
and there was a certain whether it was like X number of deliveries for a certain company or uh, a certain type of delivery, almost like this, like thrust five thrust masters this week or something like that, or, you know, three deliveries to France or something. I mean, there's so many ways you could stack it and that there was just kind of this little weekly challenge event that you could do for maybe like even just like a little XP bonus or, or something or like a a little bit extra money. I mean, it doesn't really even matter so much. Just a little XP bonus or something like that would be cool. Or even like a badging system or something. I mean, they could. there's a lot of stuff you could make it creative. But even just having those types of things, I was thinking it might be kind of cool. You know, you could just maybe make an extra 10,000 euros or get an extra 1,000 XP or some kind of combination like that. But it'd be fun to have like those little like side, like contract jobs rather than just doing one job at a time. You know, maybe it's 10 jobs or five jobs or seven jobs that were kind of in the game. So like contract packet work kind of thing. I thought that might be kind of fun. Um, what do you think? I don't know. Sometimes when you're driving, you have time to think about stuff. I was kind of thinking about that. This is a nice little ride here. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, I better not do the outside thing. We're going to need to sleep pretty soon, too, because we are fairly tired here. And we are running out of gas, too. Not like the last time in American Truck Simulator, but we're getting low on gas. This is a really neat town. I kind of want to see this one. Let's just... Am erste Ausfahrt nehmen. Gonna just kind of stop here for a second. And let's Nimm just take Ausfahrt. a look outside the truck. Hope there's no one behind us. Oh, yeah. Hang on, guys. Wow, this is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. We see ya. That's neat. All right. Thanks, guys. Going right here, right? All right. So anyway, we'll uh, kind of go forward a little bit and then uh, connect again shortly. Three hours to go. Making good time. Haven't hit anything. No tickets yet. Just, we're pulled off in this little grassy spot here. This is pretty cool. Up in the middle. These must be the Italian Alps or something, too. And so we're going to catch our sleep right here. Then we'll jump back into the truck and off we go. We should be up right about dawn oh my goodness got a hundred we've made a hundred thousand dollars in driving like six hours now that's pretty amazing gotta get back in the truck here let's start her up oops i did the double sleep well we're well rested now so much for night driving off we go i don't know why i always do that I sleep up. twice that's probably good for me right i mean Beacon i could use the extra sleep up. so uh still about a couple hours left to go and then uh, we're gonna need gas at some point here We'll get back out on the highway. See if we can get these Thrustmaster deli Thrustmasters delivered. Whoops, sorry about that sign, guys. Thrustmasters delivered to our Italian gamers. We'll check in. Oh, actually, I was wondering about this as I've been driving. I've been thinking. Because, again, when you're driving, you have time to think. So thinking about, like, the order of DLCs in American Truck Simulator. And then I was thinking about what was the order in Euro Truck Simulator. And I confess I don't know. But... France was a DLC, right? And then Italy was a DLC. And then like the Eastern European states and Russia and stuff like that, those parts there, and then Scandinavia were. So the, was the base game just it, Germany? But then I thought England was the base game too. So was it kind of like England and then part of Germany and like Belgium and stuff like that? And maybe just a little bit of France that got you over to England or something like that? Was that the base game? I mean, it's enough there, right? England to Germany, but wow. You know, not having played when the game just first launched, it must be amazing to see how much the scope and scale of the game has increased uh, since it's released, for sure. Because there is so many more places you can go. Russia coming up, heart of Russia coming up next. I wonder how far away that one is, too. But anyway, yeah, it just got me thinking. It must have been quite a different experience back then. A lot of zigzagging here. We'll keep making our time. See you in a little bit. We are almost here. We now have, we started this journey with about 88,000 euros. 10 hours of driving later, we have 222,000 euros, which is enough to buy a base. I'm wondering, I'm toying with the idea. I'm thinking it might be kind of fun to get that, to have all the bases in Sicily event achievement. That's kind of cool. But I'm thinking it might be even better to have a base up on the, up towards Russia on the east side. And then we can fill that one up with drivers too. We're going to get a fine there. Yeah, 360 euros. I didn't see it. I, it's so quick here. Oh. Stop for this one, though. Gosh, if you're not paying attention, you get such a quick fine in Europe. So, yeah, 360 euros. No longer a perfect journey. No longer that that, that doesn't really matter with this. But, yeah, hate to lose money when we don't have to. But, yeah, I was thinking it might be good. We probably should have a garage 
right on the eastern border of Russia for when the Heart of Russia event comes up. And it would be nice to have one up there anyway. So I think I think you can buy them remotely at this level, right? You don't have to be there to buy it, in which case we will pick up a garage up there and then fill that one up with drivers next. So still a lot of ways, a lot of ground to cover on the events for um, the company. I mean, we're not even close to that one. So I'm not sure we'll ever get some of those, right? Like they have a, a base in every garage, in a garage in every city. That's nuts. Just not going to happen. Big bump. All right. Sell plan. Let's see what kind of parking we get. 40. Uh, right here. We're almost there already. Right there. All right. Not so challenging. Nothing around it. This is pretty vanilla, isn't it? Gosh. And you can turn so fast in these European trucks that it's so... Oops. Not quite in the right spot yet. Yeah, so easy to park them compared to American. I, and I figured out that is definitely the, the turning radius difference is what makes it so much harder for me to park in this uh, American truck simulator or to switch between the two. So I, I kind of like the idea of uh, doing one drive in Europe and one drive in America because that really helps me to kind of learn the different uh, mechanics and the pivot ranges on these because you can turn this so much quicker in Euro Truck Simulator compared to American Truck Simulator. You can straighten out here too. Like this, you couldn't do that in American Truck Simulator. It just wouldn't work because you can't get the truck pointed straight again quick enough like that. This doesn't happen. So let's straighten this out, get this in. We can recover here, pull it straight back. We should be good. If we get more over this way should be easy to adjust all right so i'm curious to see too if this is going to work out to be our second delivery here there we go we are in t twenty-three thousand. all right we're going to get our money from the delivery too the drivers in the company make much more money than we do now for sure Fifteen thousand, some bonuses thousand xp another inch towards level 29 Check that up there. We've got 245,000. And yes, that does work. We can confirm it. So you can bounce back and forth between American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator. It's five deliveries over both games. It doesn't matter which ones you do, because we have one now in American Truck Simulator and one in Euro Truck Simulator. And we have two listed for the steering wheel rollout. So that's cool. So next event, we'll go back to America. Hopefully, if I can find wheels there, that's the big thing. But let's go get a garage purchase. Here we go. Can we only, oh, we can go anywhere. I think up here would be good, right? St. Petersburg, let's get that one. 180,000, purchase. Yes. All right, there we go. Nice. How many do we have now? We have the one up in St. Petersburg. I know we have one down in Istanbul in that corner. We have nothing in Poland in the middle here. So it'd be nice to get something there. Then we have the Toulouse one in France. We could use another one down here in like the southwestern tip of Portugal. Be nice to have one down here. We could get some in um, Sicily here. Would be no, Sicily's over here, right? Sicily would be nice. Only three there? Oh, that's not much. And then be nice to have one up in Scandinavia too. So, wow, we don't have very many, do we? I mean, I think they're going to start to come fast now. We got the small one here in Plymouth. So one, two, three, four, five bases. Gosh, I thought we had more than that, but I guess we don't. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thanks so much for tuning in. How are you doing in the steering wheel out rollout, rollout event? We've got three more deliveries to do here, but uh, we'll see you back in a couple days in American Truck Simulator for more steering rollout, rollout delivery events. I might try to do two in between now and then so we can finish it up in the next episode. But thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a great day. And uh, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next drive. Take care, everybody. Bye.